are nuts. <laughs> Should be. Well, you're the one that knows all the pages. Lily in the Valley. I ain't gonna say it. Why couldn't you find it? I wandered far before where I was saved. It wasn't long till I found I lost my way. I cried with fear as the night began to fall. One more lost land, and I heard the shepherd's call. He saw my steps as they walked right into the dark. Though I went astray, I never once left his heart. That night long ago, how I still recall When I lost my way, and I heard the shepherds call He left the fold to search out the one that strayed Left ninety-nine For there was one to be saved There on the ledge One step would have ended all But I felt the hand And I heard the shepherd's call my steps as they walk right into the dark though I went astray I never once left his heart that night long ago how I still recall when I lost my heard the shepherds call. Right. How y'all doing? Okay. I want to ask the men, whoever like to come. If you don't come, that's fine. I'm not going to get on you. But I'd like for us all to come up on stage. We're going to sing 171, uh, Lily of the Valley. We're going to sing. We're, they're going to lead us. We're going to sing with them. So would anybody come up and help me sing to the women? It is Father's Day. That, huh? Anybody come out and help me? Hey, it doesn't matter. It don't work that way. Hey, you don't have to come. Stay right there. Whoever come, I'd love to have you. Huh? 171, Lily, the Lily of the Valley. Bring your book. Well, you thought so, wouldn't you? Where's your book? You guys didn't bring a book? You got a book?
All right, take our picture. Smile, guys, suck your belly in. It'll be funny. I'll say, wonder where them other guys was. Ah, they just, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, good looking group of guys. You guys want to say something good about us? Come on, well. Merv, come on. Son, come on. Oh, you always want the girls to come up and sing for you. Okay. You want to come, Dale? Logan? <laughs> All right. No, I said the men. All right, 171, then we're going to do 364. <laughs> well, that's got to get you started. Amen. Hey, aren't you glad for the men of the church? Praise Amen. God. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. Let it rip, Fred. Go ahead. No, you got to lead us. <laughs> I have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see. All I need to make him me fully whole. In sorrow he's my comfort, in trouble he's my stay. He tells me every care I need to hold. sing like that, did you? <laughs> 364. What a day that'll be. Good stuff. Yeah. Thank you all for coming up. Appreciate it. Come in a day
services went to church for years and years and years. You've sat in church and you've sung these old hymns and you've prayed the prayers and you worshiped and praised God in a mighty way. But there's coming a day. You think all the years, every Sunday, every Wednesday, maybe, coming to church every Sunday night since you've been little. And one of these days, there's coming a day, there's no more sorrow. There's no more heartache, no more sickness, no more pain. That's the hope and the promise of our Christian faith. And in all the sorrow and sickness that's going on, we all know within the families that's here tonight and the struggles and the disappointments, there's coming a day. The sun's going to shine again. It's coming. Just as sure as we're standing here, as concrete as it is tonight, that day's coming. And that's our faith as a Christian, you know. And uh, how many times we just sing it to be singing it. But, man, it's got so much truth in it. Glory to God. I'd like to sing it one more. Uh, Amazing Grace, 164. You know, you think, about, you think about this. When you sing this song, when you, when, you, uh, when you think about this song here, how many times this song been sung? Amazing Grace. You think, you think about it. You, uh, when, when you're singing it, you think about the grace that God has showed us. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the grace of God. And we wouldn't have what we have had it not be for the grace of God. Thank God for His grace, that unmerited favor, that saving grace. Wow, glory to God. You think about it. Amazing grace. Isn't it amazing? Sometimes you ever tried to explain it to your kids or, you know, to someone you're just talking to about grace? Something you got that you didn't deserve? Wow, it's amazing. Can't help say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So amazing. This is good. And all right, Brother Fred. Grace, how sweet the sound that a wretch like church when you was a kid when this song wasn't sung that they said can't we have a good old fashioned handshake I, I don't know why it goes right along with the song but I'm not going to shake your hand tonight why won't we have a good old fist bump tonight amen if you want to shake it you can huh if you want to elbow it 
But just go up and give somebody a smile. Now, this last verse, get around and just fellowship with somebody as we uh, sing this last part of this song. They'd go around to the congregation. They'd get out of their pew and they'd go around. How you doing, brother? Good to see you all tonight. Praise God. Amen. Uh, glad to have you on the team. Amen. Glory to God. Praying for you guys. Huh? Let's sing it, Fred. When we've been there. Ten thousand years, my child, as Jessica wanted to come and, and stand in uh, for her uh, grandpa tonight, Dave Juvers. And I know Joy would like to come in and stand in for Dale. He starts chemo tomorrow. Dave, he's at Mayo Clinic, and he, he goes in at 1230 tomorrow. And Sister Brandy, I know she'd like to come in and stand in for her husband tonight. And if there be somebody else, Sister Karen, if you'd like to come tonight, we pray over you tonight. Is there anybody else tonight that would love to be prayed over or stand in the gap for somebody tonight? That No. Who? You want to come in and stand in for Alan tonight? Okay. Amen. We... Amen. Amen. And you know, I've seen through the years all the things your mother's been through, and we've prayed, and she's still pressing toward the mark. Amen. Amen. Who's got their Bible? Somebody pick their Bible up. Go to James chapter 5 and read verse, is it, what is it, 13? Huh? Somewhere right around there. Look, you'll know. You'll know what I'm talking about when you get there. Who's got their Bible? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. Man, aren't you glad for people standing together? Huh? When people can't be there and they can't make it, you got people who'll stand in the gap, believe and know and care that the power of God have his way. You got it, Kevin? Well, about the anointing of oil, the affectional fervent prayer of a right call for the elders of the church. Yeah, start it there. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults 
one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You know, when, you know, when we confess our faults one to another, realizing that, you know, we're no super duper saint here tonight. We're just so wretched sinners, saved by the grace of God through faith, believing and knowing there's power in prayer. Now, somebody quoted me a scripture today. Who quoted me a scripture? Somebody quoted me a scripture. Who was it about where some of them doubted? Who was that person? Who was that person? Somebody told me about doubting. In a passage of scripture that they read this week where there was some that doubted. And so they didn't receive because they doubted. Don't be doubting. You know, there was a boy in the Bible, a man in the Bible with some sick. He said, Lord, help my unbelief. Amen. I believe you can heal, but help my unbelief. Right? Remember it said, oh, devil throwed him in the fire and tore at him. Huh? Come on. Amen. So... Robert Milton, yeah, okay. Really fighting a battle, yeah. Their neighbor, yeah. Okay, anyone else? I want all those who don't doubt, who believes and agrees together, come forth tonight, if you will, make a circle around these folks. We're going to anoint them in oil. And you just call their name out tonight. When I anoint you, you call their name out. Name the Father, Son, and Holy no. Spirit. Name the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Name the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Name the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Let us lay hands and agree together. And if you will tonight, if you'll just all pray together and let God be God of this circle. Dear Heavenly Father, God, tonight we enter your gates with thanksgiving. And we just give you praise, God, for being God. We thank you, God, that you chose us, that we're part of a great family. And God, tonight there's folks here that need a touch from the Master. You tell us that you're our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And God, tonight we come agreeing together that you're God and that you're able. God, I pray you strengthen these people. I pray you comfort these people. I pray you give them peace. I pray that, God, you help them to be optimistic, help them to be strong in their mind and bold in their heart, pure in their heart. Help them to grow in your grace. And I pray a healing touch on them, God. I pray for them spiritually. I pray for them physically. And I pray for them financially. And, God, I thank you tonight that we can join and we have hope. And, God, we have purpose tonight. We know that, God, you're able I pray for those that need a deliverance, that they'll be delivered. That no, those that need to be rid of sickness and disease, that it be gone in Jesus' name. We know we, we serve a name that is, a well, hallelujah. It's a name that is above all names. And God, we just lift your name up tonight. We praise you. We praise you for your mighty acts, God. We praise you for creation. We praise you for the price that was paid on Calvary. We praise you for the eyes we see with, the legs we walk with. We praise you for the forgiveness of sin. We praise you, God, that you become poor, that we might be rich. We praise you for the working of the Holy Spirit. We praise you for the church that's been purchased tonight. We praise you for the blood that flows from Calvary. We praise you for the cleansing of God's holy word. <laughs> Woo! Glory to God tonight. We just praise you for these people who have enough faith of a mustard seed to come forth tonight and breathe 
prayed for or stand in the gap for, that person, God, that maybe feels separated in that or feel like there's no way out or feel like they're at wit's ends, or don't know which way to turn. We pray for them tonight. We pray the presence of God right now will fall on them in a mighty way. And Satan, you're a liar, and we rebuke you and forsake you in that sickness and that disease and that addiction in the name of Jesus, that it, we rid it in Jesus' name, that it be gone, and that God, you'll get the glory and the praise. We know that you tell us in your word, nothing, Nothing shall be impossible for our God. And we thank you tonight, God. And we know where the church prayed <laughs> and deliverance came and, and, and prayer changed things and things come to pass where you removed the mountain, dear God, and got them through the valley. We pray it tonight. We know you're the same God tonight that you was yesterday, that you was back in the Old Testament times. And God, we stand on that tonight. And through faith tonight, we plead the living blood of Jesus over us mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. And God, we give you glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory and the glory and the glory forever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God tonight. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise Him. Praise the name of Jesus tonight. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Now listen. Here's what we're going to do. Led by the Spirit of God tonight, we just want to praise Jesus. Just praise Jesus, okay? Just want to praise Him. I, listen, I, I'm not talking about of the flesh. I'm talking about of the Spirit. We want to praise Him tonight. We want to praise Jesus. He said, let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. I'm sure you got something you just like to praise Jesus about. Not man, not me, not anyone else tonight, but Jesus. Amen? Only Jesus. I want, and I want to start tonight just by giving him praise. I praise him for the forgiveness of sin. I praise him for the slate wiped clean. I praise him for a new beginning. I, I praise him for a second chance. I praise him tonight for being God. <laughs> Woo! He could have gave up on me, but he chose me. Amen. He pursued me. I can't help but give him praise. Well, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. I can't help but praise him tonight. Huh? I want to hear some praise tonight. Just praise. I don't want no story. I want praise. Come on tonight. That's what God wants. He wants praise. Amen. We don't need no parables tonight. Glory to God. We need some praising. Amen. Who's willing to give some praise tonight? Anybody else tonight? I'm the only one being saved. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Praise Jesus. It was Jesus. Anybody else? Anybody else? Huh? Come on. Amen. Praise him. Somebody over here was praising. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Praise him for answering prayers. Glory to God. Amen. Christian home. Man, it's good to belong to a Christian home. Amen. Come on, anybody here? Come on, let's go.
Amen. 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 Praise Him. Amen. Glory to God. Things happen when we praise Him. Amen. Stirring of the water. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise Him. Praise Him. Amen. 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 Come on, let's go. We ain't praising. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Huh? Woo! Glory to God. Anybody? Huh? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Gosh, I just get so overwhelmed sometimes. I just get so overwhelmed that I that God saved me. That it's just so amazing to have what you have and to know when you used to not recognize it, not know it, to know it. Man, it's good to know it. Amen. I can't help. I can't help but whew. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. I thank him for running water. I thank him for a shower. I thank him for air conditioning. And I thank him for heat. <laughs> and I thank him for a vehicle. I see all people all the time walking. They ain't got a vehicle to drive. <laughs> I thank God I got a place to lay my head down at night. Good bed. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's just good. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo. Amen. That's right. That's right. That gift of memory. Thank you, God, for that. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. My high tire, my buckler, amen. My door. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. I praise God for being able to feel him. Huh? Amen. His presence. Recognizing him. Amen. Yeah. He said, my sheep, they know my voice and they follow me. Amen. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Amen. Amen. Don't give up. That's right. Keep believing. Keep praying. Amen. Amen. Guys, we're trying to be spiritual. <laughs> He's being serious. <laughs> Gosh. All right, hey, will you sing that song? He called my name. Listen to this song. Uh, before you sing that, though, will you, you be getting ready. I got a scripture I'm going to read. It's Proverbs 20. If you want to mark it, you can mark it. Be something good to read this week. Proverbs 20, verse 1. Listen to what it says. Wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging. Whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The fear of a king is as the roaring of a lion. Whoso provoketh him to anger sinneth against his own soul. It is an honor for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be meddling. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. Counsel in the heart of man is like a deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. Huh? Good stuff. Then it goes on to say, The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. That's good stuff. In other words, you sit back and you don't do nothing. You're not going to get nothing. But you work hard at it. Amen. Don't be as a sluggard, if you will. Be a faithful man. Use your faith for the things of God. Take care of what God's gave you. Amen. Protect it in Jesus' name. Be proud of what you got. You know, uh, your salvation. The Bible says work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Man, don't forget your body. And don't forget, man, what all the things that God's gave you. Take care of them. You know, and use the tools that God's give you and the talents to glorify him. Good stuff. Come on. Don't be as a fool, all right? You know, I see people who just throw stuff away. In other words, they never use the wonderful gifts that God's gave them. And they're lazy in their spirituality or physically. And you know, there's nothing worse than being lazy. You know that? It's not a good witness, right? And, and some people just want just enough to what I can get by with. <laughs> you know what I mean? And get to heaven. Good word. Good word. Good word, preacher. Good word. All right, don't say amen. Okay. 
Got it now? Yeah, I think. We'll get by. That bad, huh? I think I'm going to. Okay. They ask God Lazarus. Can you explain how a man can't be dead then live again? That's just insane. Oh, Lazarus said, boys, I heard a voice. He spoke life to me and they set me free when he called my name. He called my name. I heard his voice. He called my name. I made my Choice. Knew that my life would never be the same after he called. Mm -hmm. He called my name. They asked Zacchaeus, Can you tell us about Jesus in a sycamore tree? I climbed up to see the Lord pass my way. But the Savior called out the day I stay at your house. So I took him in and he forgave all my sins and he called me my name. He called my name, I heard his voice. He called my name, I made my choice. I knew that my life would never be the same after he called. Mm -hmm. He called my name. Oh, thank God he called. Call my name. Carla, did you have a scripture? Oh, okay. I thought you had a scripture there. Amen. <laughs> Amen. There's a lot of people don't follow along and they get misled. Come on. All right. Amen. Been good. It's good, Kenny. Ain't it? How about a drum roll tonight, son? How about a praise on the drums? You ever get a praise on the drums? Come on, something better than that. That ain't enough. Come on, give us something. God gave you a talented drum like that. Let's hear a little solo. God bless. Happy Father's Day, y'all. Take care. Don't forget, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, don't forget, prayer service, 630. Love to have this bigger group out. If God be for us, who can be against us? Well, who can separate us from His mighty hand? If God be for us, who can be against us? We can win the battle if for God we stand. Goliath stood there boldly, defying God's army. But there stood little David and he did not stand alone. He said in the name of the Lord I come against thee. He slew that giant with a sling and a stone. 
if God be for us? Who can be against us? Well, who can separate us from His mighty hand? If God be for us, who can for God we stand? Now we can win the battle, win the battle, oh, we can win the battle.